Good morning, dear friends. The gospel passage for our meditation is taken from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. And they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, rise, he is calling you. And throwing off his mantle, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Master, let me receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received the sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord Today, 21st of October, the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of a great saint, Saint Anthony Mary Claret. The Claritian family thanks God for the gift of our founder, Father Archbishop St. Anthony Mary Claret. Happy Feast Day to you, dear brothers and sisters. May you be blessed by the intercession of St. Anthony Mary Claret. Have you ever desperately longed for a change of a hard situation in your life? Have you ever hoped for a drastic change in your life? What can be the only thing that you would ask with Jesus today if he visit you? If you were in the place of Bartimaeus, what you would ask Jesus today? Such a moment came for a blind and destitute man named Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was determined to get near the one person who could meet his need. He knew who Jesus was and had heard of his fame for healing, but until now had no opportunity to make a direct contact with Jesus the Messiah. It took a lot of courage and persistence for Bartimaeus to get the attention of Jesus over the din of a noisy throng who crowded around Jesus as he made his way out of town. Why was the crowd annoyed with the blind man's persistent shouts? It was disturbing their peace and interrupting Jesus' discourse. It was common for a rabbi to teach as he walked with others. Jesus was on his way to celebrate the Passover in Jerusalem and a band of pilgrims followed him. When the crowd tried to silence the blind man, he overpowered them with his emotional outburst and thus caught the attention of Jesus. This incident reveals something important about how God interacts with us. The blind man was determined to get Jesus' attention and he was persistent in the face of opposition. Jesus could have ignored or rebuffed him because he was disturbing his conversation and his audience. Jesus showed that acting was more important than talking. This man was in desperate need and Jesus was ready to respond to his need, not only to empathize with his suffering but to relieve it as well. A great speaker can command attention and respect but a man or woman with a helping hand and a big heart is loved more. Why did Jesus put a question to Bartimaeus? What do you want me to do for you? Jesus wanted to draw out of him a personal response of faith and trust in his power to heal and make whole. Jesus commands Bartimaeus for recognizing who he is with the eyes of faith and grant him physical sight as well. 
Do you recognize the Lord Jesus with eyes of faith as your merciful Lord and healer? Ask the Lord Jesus to strengthen your faith that you may draw near to him and receive his grace and mercy. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.